Hey everybody, hopefully the microphone is working today. I have restarted the computer. My name is Aaron Ciotti, everybody calls me Ciotti. And we are going to do a quick repair here. Uh, I've got talk therapy at 2.30, it is 1.24 right now, so let's see how quick we can swap the flight controller on this glide so that I can bring it with me and go fly afterwards. So let's just dive into it. I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to put, turn the soldering iron on here. Uh, I'm just going to dump from one of my other rigs with this exact same setup. So that'll save time. Literally all we have to do is swap the wires over and we will be good to go, which uh, I'm going to do sort of one by one. Kind of can't wait for somebody to come in here and let me know. Hey, Kristen, yeah. can you do me a favor? Can you? No, oh, never mind. Somebody will come in. Never mind. Yeah. Love you. you sure? All right. So let's just start swapping stuff over. Uh, this is the rig that I didn't break the run cam micro eagle on, so that's good. Hey, Ken Hill, first one in here. Hey, Ken, how's the um, and Pedro and Chan? How's the uh, how's the audio sound? Is it all scratchy and horrible like yesterday, or is it better? Pretty sure that restarting the computer fixed it, but it's impossible to know for sure without you guys telling me. So let me know. It's fine. Awesome. Thanks, John. Appreciate that. Let me give you guys a little bit more light here. And, yeah, that's better. All right, so let's get to it. Um, I'm going to try to pop these off and solder them to the new... Uh, solder them to the new board one by one to save a little bit of time. Never done it that way. I've always just completely yanked everything off the old board and then stared at the wiring diagram and whatnot, but I don't think we need to do that this time since we're in a hurry. Uh, just plugged this flight control. So this flight controller does not power up. I just plugged it into USB and the bottom of it got really hot. So I believe the, um, I think that means that the 3.3 volt reg died. I think that's what that means, right? Because it's getting five volt from USB and then converting it to three volts, which is what the uh, internal components want. So there's the, uh, there's the camera connector. I'm actually pretty surprised that I don't have the grounds, oops, sorry about that. I don't have the grounds uh, on the camera and VTX on the same pad. That's sort of unlike me, but I don't know. Maybe there wasn't a lot of, maybe I'll move the, uh, the VTX ground up on this guy. Hold on one second here, folks. 90 all up weight, 3S, 40 millimeter, custom frame, 3D printing, carbon rod, black bone. Damn, very cool, John. Very, very cool. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's fix these up a little bit just to get them a little bit more round again here. And we will get these soldered down to the new board here in a second. There we go. And last one here. I made that one way worse. Let's fix it. Just making sure that all the strands are together. Really. Okay, good to go. Got these couple little bits of solder off here just to make sure they don't stick to the new uh, flight controller. Okay, so. Let's look at the old one and look at the new one. All right, so pin header away from me, and we're going to go one, two, three pads right in the front there. And I did not make a note of <laughs> which one's which, so I'm going to have to look at the wiring diagram anyway. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so let's get the wiring diagram up over here on the computer. Uh, okay, there we are. All right, so across from that, We've got 
what is it? It's a it's a big long row and then two behind it. Should be three behind it. Ah, this is a different. Uh, well, that's weird. They're both Talon F sevens, but they've got drastically different pin layouts. Interesting. Okay. Uh, you know what? This might be that one wacky like V one Talon F seven that I've got. Um, interesting. Okay, let me make sure that I have not noticed that Redbeard. I have, I have not noticed any delay in in y'all. Huh? Interesting. I will pay more attention to that. I, I certainly haven't noticed it though. Okay, so uh, what am I doing again? Oh yeah, camera, right, camera. Uh, so on this board, camera is up here, is it? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, USB that way, and then, okay, so signal, and then ground, and then 5 volt. All right, so it's those three pads. Let's get them tinned. All right, fair, and in fairness, this is probably not going to be the best um, stream to ask questions. I'm going to be going as fast as I can through this. I've got talk therapy at 2.30, um, and it is 1.30 now, so I just have to blast. I just want to blast through this here so that um, I have something to fly, <laughs> basically. All right, so we've got 5 volt ground signal let's get these guys down and here we go five volts lay that little guy down there and then ground grabbing it nice and close to the exposed bit to the strip bit of the wire and using just the tip of the that's what she says also known as tweezers and there we go that one wasn't quite there there we go that's better all right one down a few more to go Give these a little twist here. Don't mind my bleeding fingernail. All right, little twisty twisty. And on to the next. Uh, so I guess since I'm having to use the wiring diagram, I might as well just yank this all apart. <laughs> um, although maybe not. What is, what is this? Where does this red wire go in here? What's what's happening over here? Let's see if we can try to like reverse engineer this as much as possible. So, cause so with the wires going under the ESC, it's easy to kind of like lose which one is which. Um, okay, so let's knock. Hmm. Who's going to pop? What do you mean, Tiago? You mean what's going to pop? As in what am I going to destroy? Heaven only knows. Where is this? Is this... Where is that wire going? Is that going into there? Is that going into this plug header? Sure looks like it, doesn't it? It is. So what the hell pad is that? Interesting. Let's Let me see if I can figure out what the hell pad this is uh it's coming from the the esc why is this so confusing uh okay let me look on the desktop here oh 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 right like is it going to be mark spatz is it going to be um yeah that's a good question man who is it going to be desktop quards uh, manuals, and I'm looking 
for this weirdo Talon F7 here layout, which has got, okay, so let's see what I can find real quick. Um, is that the one? That's the one. Look at that. Didn't take long. All right, so what do we got? This is this strange, like, V1 Talon F7. So uh, that was a pad down here. So it's across from the pin header and up by one. Um, okay, so we got ground, and then it's, it looks to just be a 5-volt pad, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, it's just a 5-volt pad. Why the hell did I have the ESC feeding into it? Oh, because this is the flight controller that had the... Um, that had the five volt regulator die. Interesting. Okay, so that's fine then. Um, oh, oh, oh! I guess I can look up the pads on the bottom too while I'm at it. All right, so that's fine. Um, so I'm actually going to end up depinning that. That's kind of funny. Uh, okay, so on the opposite side here, let's figure out what these are, and we'll desolder them, and swap them over, and all will be well. So this is to the to the side of that fella there um, so it's not the closest side on the chip it's the second closest side on the main processor which would be the top on that drawing right yeah it would be the top on the drawing so what do we got um, ground and 5 volt and then Um, hard to tell. Ground and 5 volt, and then, uh, you know what? It's going to be much safer to just pull these off and then use the new diagram. I'm just going to, uh, I'll just trace them back. This will be, it's, it's going to be fine. All right. We had Joshua Steel UIV, Little Stellar Fox, yeah, right? Uh, would you still recommend a Talon FC 2020 even though this one blew? Oh God, yeah, Blitz. Th this one, um, this one blew up from a 21-story drop to concrete, so I really can't fault it at all. Uh, and I've run these flight controllers to absolute death, doom, and gloom, and they've held up really, really well. Um. I think I've got four of these in circulation right now, and yeah, they've been fantastic. This, this is still absolutely my favorite flight controller. Um, the pad layout, it's the pad layout is is fantastic. The it's made by CL Racing. They have a really good reputation, and yeah, man, it's just really really good. This is a really good flight controller. All right. And we are free. Get this guy out of here. And yeah, components are, are allowed to fail. Um, they're, it, it's just when you start to see multiple, multiple, multiple people complaining about them failing, that's when it's like, uh, okay. Or if you have a bunch in a row that let go, um, that's when you got to sort of be careful. But this one is not like that this one has uh not had many failures and then and, and the failures it's had have been kind of well deserved and that sounds weird to say but it's true big 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 crashes break components and you're just you're gonna kind of drive yourself crazy chasing the invincible component especially because by the time you find it it's going to be obsolete All right, just cleaning up the old one because that's what I do because I'm a crazy person. That's why I go to talk therapy. <laughs> All right, here we go. And eh, there we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. One more. Okay. All right, good to go. 
on the shelf of destroyed electronics it goes off to my right huh. all right there it is new flight controller ready uh, I'm gonna pop these nuts off so that I can lift the ESC up a little bit just to trace these wires down to make sure that we're wiring everything up correctly the first on the first shot here and here we go okay so uh, yellow is bound to be video and so just by like just by pulling on these guys I can see that they're going to the um, they're actually going to the crossfire it looks like and so I'm gonna put these guys aside in this case yellow is not video these two fellas here are more than likely the um, little guys going to the VTX and they are yeah I've got them zip tied over here out of the way so these are for the VTX one of them is going to be on a transmit TX port and the other one's going to be the video out from the uh, uh, from the flight controller so that's good those are the shortest though so we're gonna wait to do those until last um, I do just have them zip tied on the bottom I could just pop that zip tie off but I'm not gonna uh, let me also look up oh, fuck you guys probably can't hear me now you would have told me if you can't hear me oh it's on the webcam audio look at that let me get off the webcam audio <laughs> onto the zoom mic there we go that should sound a little bit better and okay let's come back here you guys haven't been able to see what i was doing sorry about that let's go akon ak32 and we're gonna go to images and we're gonna find the pinout there we go Oops, that's not what I wanted. Open image in new tab. That's what I wanted. All right. Okay, yeah. So I was tapping and I was tapping into the uh, into the five volt pad there, <laughs> or the five volt. Uh... Yeah, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so let's get this. We'll unbundle a little bit here, and all right. So this is the ESC side here. So all we're gonna need for this properly functioning uh, fella is the VBAT. So let's go over here and. Okay, cool. So ground, ground, VBAT, five volt. So that means we got a ground that we skipped, ground, and then VBAT is in the harness there, which is what we want. So we can remove this five volt. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just remove that five volt. That'll be totally fine. I'm 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 thinking how can I get the uh, the grounds unified, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna bang this out, get it done, and uh, maybe next time I have to pull this thing apart. Or you know this this will actually be a kind of a good test. Come to think of it, I the the um the other identical rig to this has the um has the the grounds shared, and uh, I know the answer to this, but it's always good every once in a while to just kind of test the um, test things. So what what we're going to test here is how much cleaner the video is on the other rig that has the um, that has the ground, uh, the two grounds for the camera and the VTX shared. Big capacitors on both, so if there's not much of a difference, then that's kind of interesting. Uh, I am going to pull this VBAT out of here real quick, 
just so I can uh, put it in line with the rest of these guys. Well, now I feel a lot less bad about this um, flight controller blowing up uh, because this is the one that I had where the uh, the five volt regulator let go after a huge slam, and I uh, um, blitz the fr <laughs> the frame didn't give a shit. The uh, all the electronics grenaded. Um, literally all, no, not all of them, the, the, both the ESC and the flight controller both exploded, um, but the frame didn't care. Uh, that more than likely means that it flat bottomed, like it perfectly slammed absolutely flat, uh, because you really can't expect a frame to hold up to a hundred plus foot drop like that, um, but... Still, pretty damn good. The, the, the long and short of the glide frame is that um, the ratio of strength to what it weighs is higher than any other frame I've ever seen. And um, it's a pretty good place to be at. That's a pretty good frame to be flying, right? Like, that's sort of the golden monkey there is having something that uh, exceeds that balance of um, weight to destruction, right? So, or, or destruction potential, rather, I should say, I guess. Um, okay, so I can put this aside to give myself a little bit, room in, a little bit more room in here. Um, okay, so these two guys are going to the crossfire, so they are obviously just 5 volt and ground, uh, and it doesn't much matter where you put those. So let's get those guys. So we'll get those guys and these guys done here so that the crossfire is finished and then we'll just tack the uh, the the VTX signal and uh, smart audio or tramp audio rather on there and we'll be done. So let's go back here to our Talon F7 V2 wiring diagram and let's see where they want us to... Um, I always try to go by the manufacturer diagram so that I don't have to like trace the wires again. I can just refer back to, to this um, image when I need to know what what's where. So a little tip for you. Do it the way that the manufacturer suggests and uh, it just can potentially make your life a little easier. So, okay, they want me to put it next to the, everything next to the camera it looks like, other than the TX2 on the bottom. So, all right, let's get this rolling here. Oh wait, no, there's the TBS. They have a specific, they call it out specific here. Look at this, uh, what key is it? F6, that should bring up the screen. So look, they're calling it out specific right here, ground five volt, and they want you to put it on um, RX3 and TX3. So if we look here, there you go, right next to one another. So this is going to be stupidly clean. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. Um, all right. So let's tin those three pads, four pads rather. And man, this is going to be a it's going to be a slick little little setup. Okay. Let's clean the tip so that it will actually transfer some heat. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, you know what? The uh, the weller went. Uh, the weller didn't see the the temperature change on the tip of the iron, so it uh, dropped the temperature down. Hey, there it goes, coming back up. That's pretty slick. I, I just I just have to remember that. Um, actually, I might just change that. I I might change the uh, the timer on that. Uh, on the auto cooldown to be a little bit longer. All right, one, two, three, four. Didn't get quite enough solder on that last one, but the wires should have plenty on them. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. I think I'm going to wrap those under. Let me show you. So I, I, I assume why I left these long is so that I can wrap, yeah, yeah, so that's definitely what I did. 
Uh, let's let's pop this camera off just to give a little bit more space. Doing this off camera because I'm just unscrewing. Nothing really interesting for you guys to see. Ugh, you're not missing anything, I swear. Oh, 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 come off, come off, come off. Wow, that took a... That is quite the deformed little... Uh, Little washer there. There we go. Okay, now we got some more room. Now we can really see the damage that I did to the <laughs> to the nose. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It's not that great either. We'll uh, slop some. Throw some super glue in there just to. Eh, I'll do that last. I'll leave the super glue out. Uh, okay, so now let me bring you guys back to this camera. Of course, it was off screen because I had the wrong effing scene selected on the computer. Uh, ooh, let me check one thing. I put taller standoffs on this guy, and I wonder... Oh, yeah, I can. So I can pull these little... Um, I can pull these little washers that are on the bottom here off. Oh, and I am going to need to go to a longer screw. Son of a bitch. Although maybe once those washers are gone, these will be long enough. Um, yeah, that's, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Well, uh, more work. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go here. And before I go adding any, uh, all right, let me zoom back out on the computer here. <laughs> yeah, Blitz, let me, um, let me zoom in on it. Next, next time I solder, I'll zoom in on it for you. Um, all right, so I'm going to have to use longer, slightly longer M2 screws here, I think, but let me just test that theory out by taking this little one millimeter washer off. Put this back on here, and let's see where that leaves the, uh, the top of this. M2 screw once I drop this down with these longer standoffs yeah see it's not they're not quite long enough that's all right we can fix that yeah not quite long enough I need one size longer that's fine let's uh, let's just fly here okay do 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 and okay so that's the size let's get our two screw kit out here and let's figure out what one size longer is so this is probably the existing size yep so that's m2 by 10 so we need to go up to m2 by 12 which should be here and sure enough um, oh, look at that. I'm using up my last four. So I need more M2 by 12 hardware. Hold on one second. Let me go pull that up on a tab on the computer here so that I don't forget. Um, M2 by 12 screw. Uh, what if I put FPV in there? Hobby King, Hobby King, Banggood, Meyer, C Mart, Metric Screws, Amazon, Rotor Quest. Well, I'll find an FPV shop that has these and and do a bigger order, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> but all right, so we got it in there. That's good. We don't need this wiring diagram anymore. And all right, let's go back here and get these guys installed well let me pop the other ones off so i can put them away i shall work smarter here do 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 here we go here we go here we go fast 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 and how much time do i have 154 all right 215 i have to stop no matter what Full speed ahead, people. Eh. OK. 
Okay. And last one. All right. Put that guy in there. No more need for this one mil washer. And let's get our M2 by 12s going here. Okay, we got one. And <clears throat> show you guys these excellent little brass collars here. Might be able to kind of see them. Man, are they nice. They uh, basically adapt M2 to M3. And they come with all of the, uh, the Talon flight controllers. And man, they just, they just work really, really well. These little brass guys that I'm putting in here. Um, what's cool is you, you, when you're doing this right now, you crank them down so you don't have to worry about these M2 screws backing off. Um, but they don't bite so hard that they don't let the screw rotate. Um, so after I drop the flight controller on here, I'll still be able to rotate these screws from the bottom, which makes tightening the nuts on the top of the flight controller a lot easier. And you guys will see that in a minute once everything is soldered up. Audio still good? Volume meter looks like it's dropping down a lot lower than it was yesterday, so yeah, whatever. Very strange problem last night on the stream, but... Hey, that's OBS. OBS has a mind of its own. It just kind of does whatever the hell it wants to, whenever it wants to. Not much I can do or say about that. Okay, so let's get our plastic washers back where they belong. And... Okay, next. We've got let's put the nut grabber back. Now we'll leave the nut grabber out. I feel like I use the nut grabber more often than, than I give it credit. Um, okay, so uh, let me look at that wiring diagram one more time real quick here. Tilt you guys down so you can see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so TX3 is all the way down on the crossfire. So that's yellow. So yellow is going to be TX3, and that means white is going to be RX3. So yellow... TX3, white, RX3. And um, I'm going to do them like this because I'm then going to rotate the board. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Um, don't, don't, nobody freak out. Uh, all right, so what did I say? TX on the outside, RX on the inside. Uh, and then where is, where are those? Those are, okay, so TX on the outside. Ah, cool, okay. So it's, it's outside to... Uh, to inside. So outside is yellow, so that means yellow is going to be the first one we plop down there. Good to go. Let's get it. Uh, where'd my tweezers go? There they are. So yellow is going on TX3 here. Alright, and that didn't, the uh, little pieces of wire kind of flared up at the last second there. Oh, I forgot to zoom it for you guys. Hold on. Give me a second, Blitz. There we go. Okay, so let me give you guys a better view. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so that's the max zoom that that will allow. Now if I bring my work over here, and I just angle it up a little bit. It's hard to get any closer than that because the whole frame is together, but it's about as good as I can do. Unless I take this away. Well, let's try this. Let me move this. Let's see what I can do for you guys here. Hey, that's a little better, right? That's a little better. You just can't see because there's no light. 
Uh, I'll put this on top here. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, man. Now you guys can see it all. You guys can see all my screw-ups. Okay. And then we're going to go white wire next. And... Going in dry here. See how good this weller is. Damn. See, that's on a lesser soldering iron. That becomes a lot harder. And yeah, there's these little niblets, but whatever. They're fine. Actually, they're driving me crazy. The solution to that is more flux. Or, you can just go in and make them even worse. That's always an option. I'm not good at doing things quickly. I really, like, really prefer to do things slow and perfect. But hey, that's just me. The goddamn soldering iron went down to 360 again. Come on now. Yeah, I need to change that. Um... I'm going to do it right now, actually. There, okay. That's better. Bump that uh, timer up a little bit. Okay, temperature's coming back up. Get this fixed. Oh, God. That was not what I meant to do. My God, this thing gets hot. Holy shit balls. So it's doing that because the solder is going towards the heat because the pad isn't getting quite hot enough because there's not enough um, flux on there. And like I said, it's not the end of the world, but it does just kind of try to keep these glide builds really clean. And I also try to do things the right way for you guys. Uh, Copter 612 asks what batteries I'm running uh, on the glides. Uh, Tattoo R-Line. 6s 1050s they are 170 grams which is um they're some of the lightest 6s batteries that are a high enough discharge for a, a nice big powerful five inch rig um and they're also only 30 bucks the the other really like lightweight high performance battery option are uh are the um the adrenaline packs by uh um you know the ones that steel runs but those are $40 a battery, and they're not, I don't think they're any lighter. Uh, so, yeah, I'm absolutely diehard fan of these uh, Tattoo Success 1050s, R lines. They're just phenomenal. All right, then we got 5 volt and ground, and we're done. Forever. All right. I would really love somebody to come out with a 1000 or like 950 MAH 6S battery um, that is a little bit lighter, but there, they could, there, there is like a point of diminishing returns, it seems, with batteries and cell size that might not exist because um, they, don't, they might not perform as well. Um, the, the more MAH, the, the bigger the gas tank is, is one way to kind of think about it. Um, but it also does affect sag a little bit. A, a higher MAH battery will always resist sag, um, better than a, than a lower MAH battery. So yeah, I don't know. I, but I would, I would love for there to be like 160 or hell, maybe even 150 gram uh, 6S battery. Man, that would be amazing. It would bring the run times back down to three minutes, but that's where I like them. I, I, the, going beyond three minutes, I get a little tired and like, not bored, but um, yeah, I don't know. After three minutes, I want to come in and take a breath, basically. And let's check it with a 5X loop. 
make sure nothing's bridged, and we're good. Although, that ground wire is a little bit ugly. The last one I did is not sitting quite flat enough on the pad for my impossible standards, so let's just push that guy down, and we'll be all set. There we go, that's better. Hey, Good to go. Okay, 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 okay. And so we got those guys on. Now, basically, I'm just going to take this thing and um, rotate it around like this so that they run under the... Uh, so they run under the flight controller. Or maybe I won't because they're not long enough. That's frustrating. Are they really not quite long enough by, like, a fucking millimeter? You jackass. Okay, taking them off and putting them the other way. Now, great. Ten minutes. Okay, so this isn't going to happen. Well, maybe not ten minutes. Maybe I can stretch it out a little bit more. Uh, yellow, white, red, black. Somebody remember that. Somebody type that in the chat. Yellow, white. Red, black. Alright, flip this around. And all this means is I'm just going to have to run these guys on top, which is uh, not the end of the world. But I am actually going to wait. I'm going to do those last. Um, I'm going to do this video out and uh, smart audio first because they're shorter. Uh, referring to the diagram... Uh, where is the VTX? There it is. Signal, positive, negative, TX1. So it is on this side, and it's down on the bottom. So let's just tin them real quick there. We want... Uh, what did I say? Signal is all the way off on the side. Nope, that's not solder. Those are tweezers. Signal... And then, pretty sure it's this one, T1, right? Signal and then T1. That's it. All right. Let's get this back in here. Oops. Sorry, guys. All right. Bring this guy up here at an angle again. Bring you guys back online. And, okay, yeah, so we just got those two. This will be quick, boom, boom, and then those four, and we'll be golden. Okay. Uh, all right. Give you guys a little zoom here. There we go. So we've got signal. clean this up a little bit there we go okay and so grab it here and then tilt all right there's one yeah well these aren't going to be perfect that's just going to have to be all right and here's t1 Whoops, fuck, come on now. So right now, I'm not using bone support. Now I am. Because I put my index finger down on the board, and I got a little bit of bone support for my hand, and that's when I stopped shaking. Um, okay, so now these guys, uh, you guys typed it out. Yellow, white, red, black. Okay, thank you. Fellers, get, come on, just, would you, can you just, fuck, fucker, yellow, get it, get it, get it, get it, yellow, and then we need some white action. Oh. 
going back. I also try not to do field repairs. Um, it's another reason I'm not fast at doing this. But I can if I need to. Ouch, I touched the soldering iron. I haven't done that in a fucking long time. Wow. Okay, and then we got a little bit of red action. There goes my phone, reminding me to get ready for therapy. Let's see if I can pull this off without the black one tacking itself down. Boodly 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 boodoo. not annoying or anything. Shut up, phone. Shut up. All right. Check our work. I think we're good. Uh, yeah, good enough. Whoop. Nope, not good enough. Two of these guys tried to bridge themselves. What the fuck? When did that happen? That might have been a little solder ball. That's why you check your work, ladies and gentlemen. Probably wouldn't have blown this up, but uh, the video wouldn't have worked. That's better. Alright. So, those look good. Those look good. We should be fine. Uh, let's get some nuts on here and get out the door. Drop that camera back on there too, but let's just get this nutted up first. And I'm going to use Nylock nuts because this, um, yeah, so here's, here's what I was saying about uh, being able to still spin these, uh, these lower guys. And of course, as I say that, this one is so tight that I can barely spin it. No, it's not. I can still spin it. See what I mean? So I can just hold the lock nut with my left hand and or in a pair of pliers and get it nice and tight easily without needing to use the nut grabbers. All right, and now I'm into the nylock and all is well. Next. <coughs> I'm gonna to try to do a, uh, maybe I'll do a review stream tonight. Maybe I'll finally get on that and uh, get one of these reviews going. Let's get some more Nylocks here. I need two more, one and two. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, get on there. All right, go, 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 go. Athix, you know, I don't, I, I think I got these tweezers from uh, Meyer C Mart, but don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, they are nice. They, uh, they've got just the right amount of uh, sharpness, but they're not too sharp. So just, of course, as I say that, this one won't tighten all the way on, so I'll just use the pliers real quick here. One more. A little bit more. Whoops. Fucker. There we go. Okay, last one. And... This one's going, but then it just got too tight. So we're gonna... I don't want to strip it out, so... It did strip it out a little bit. That sucked. That'll be interesting to try to get off. Not my concern right now, though. All right, good enough. Next, camera back on. Uh, I'm not going to do super glue this time. I'll do it next time it has to come apart. Uh, I will do super glue, but I'll just do the front edge. Oh, boy, that's coming apart, isn't it? Look at that. Jesus Christ. 
Christ on a crutch. Maybe I will do super glue. Fuck. All right. So there was a little bit more damage than I thought, but I still submit to you that this frame held up unbelievably well for the abuse that it was put through. And it wasn't like a fresh frame. Like, this is a frame that I'd smashed the living hell out of for months previous to that. So, yeah. Glide frame full of win. I'm just going to go full ham and just straight up squirt super glue into these because um, I'm actually okay with a little bit of super glue getting on these threads. Hold on though, I just got super glue all over my hand. Ugh. I'll just get this wiped off real quick here and ah! get up, get up, get up, get up. All right, here we go. Closing the super glue. I should have probably waited to do that, but whatever. Um, yeah, I don't care about super glue getting all over these threads because I don't want them to back out anyway. <laughs> so this is like the most aggressive way of making sure that that doesn't happen. There we go. Super glue on the threads. What could go wrong? Get it in there. And let's just get this cranked. Here we go, here we go, we're doing it as fast as we can. 2.16, I'm gonna be late, but my therapist is usually late too. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Crank, crank, crank. Okay, and hopefully the other quad that I'm going to yes it is on crossfire okay cool so the dump that I pull across to this uh, board will be should be fine um, and I don't even have to finish the I don't even have to finish this I guess as long as I just get the top plate on I can just throw my bag in the car and go um, but I would like to get the rest of the shit plugged in so let's get this plug camera plugged in here this uh, camera mount is locked at 30 degrees uh, Brent from BMC3D made this for me very graciously, specifically for the Micro Eagle to try to make it a little bit more durable. Um, and it's really nice. This camera mount TPU is uh, beautiful. And I can't thank that guy enough. I just touched the uh, super glue in the front there. That was great. The fullest of CTs. Thanks for coming, brother. I didn't even see you were here until just now. <laughs> okay. Let's get these plastic nuts back on the ESC. And it's pretty much going to be it. Shut this fucker down. I'm going to go get therapized. And then uh, do some FPV therapy afterwards. Not on the group, but in the world. Ah, shit, I forgot to plug the, uh, the, the goddamn ESC into the, um, uh, flight controller. Uh, let's see if I can just kind of finagle it. I feel like it's probably in this direction. How come none of you guys told me that in the chat? You probably did, and I just didn't see it. <laughs> You guys gotta have my back, man. You gotta catch me. Catch me when I'm snoozing. Making bad decisions. Hey, look at that. Got it on the first try. And that looks to be fully seated. See that nice squish that this thing has? Look at that movement. That is gonna be nice. And this guy is going to go here with a little bit of a kink in it. Come on, little fella. 
Um, yeah, these tweezers like cost nothing. I, I like I said, I think they were from Meyer C Mart, and they were like a dollar or something. If you ever, um, one of the things I love about ordering RCX motors every so often is that I'll go through when I do an order, I'll go through Meyer C Mart's um, website top to bottom. They've got some cool stuff buried on that website. Um, so yeah, even though their shipping is slow and expensive because it's coming from um, overseas. Make it worth your while and get a bunch of shit off their website because they got some good stuff. They got a lot of hardware that's hard to find, which is really nice. I usually load up on hardware when I order from them. All right, so we got that. Let's get these guys popped off here. And we'll be ready to go. Bottom plate. Drop that fucker on there. Uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything. There's a good chance that I did. Because I try not to build in a hurry like this. But, you know, not the end of the world. While I'm screwing this in, I'm going to look for a question. Thanks, Leviathan. This is a, um, this is a, uh, a machinist's toolbox, I'm told. It's uh, been with me for a long time. My dad got this for me when I was... A young lad, um, probably in my early 20s. So yeah, this thing's probably pushing 20 years old now. And it's been amazing. For all 20 of those years, uh, let's just throw any old... Oh, look at that. That blew up. That top plate got oh, cracked ever so slightly there. Ah, it just cracked the uh, to top veneer layer. It'll be fine. All right. Screwing screws, flooping floops. Come on, come on, come on, get in there. Get in there. There it goes. Eh, 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 eh. And other side, in the front. Go, 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 go. If Full CT were here still, he'd be screaming that I need to get a. Uh, one of those electric screwdrivers. He uh, he showed me it. He's got it. Um, he's got the really nice one, the hundred dollar one, made by the same guys as the CS one hundred. And uh, I remember he was showing it to me at Rampage, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I don't really have a hundred dollars to spend on a screwdriver, but goddamn, that's nice. There we go. Okay, and. This one, but I mean, shit, with how much I repair, it might actually be worth it. 100 bucks is a hell of a lot of money, but um, if it saves 30 seconds over and over and over again, you know, if you save 30 seconds 120 times, you just saved an hour, and that's significant. An extra hour would be great. I would love an extra hour. Get some editing done, maybe, for a change. Plus, you know, I just want to press you guys. Okay, uh, that super glue is already cured. That's pretty cool. I gotta get some of that accelerator stuff. Supposedly, it's the jam. That'd be nice to have. Alright, let's put a little bit more on here, on the front here, just to kind of try to get it. Usually what I like to do is um, put this in wax paper overnight in a vise. Wax paper just to make sure that the super glue and the carbon doesn't stick to the, um, the jaws of the vise, or the pads of the vise. Oh fuck, it's 223. Oh god. Okay, it looks like a quad, so in theory it flies like a quad. Although, wait, no, I have to do the dump. I have to take a dump. Okay. Here comes the dump. And... Alright. Current quad plugged in. Let's see how quick this is. Oh, I might need to flash uh, 4.11 billion. That's annoying. Uh, let's see what 
confirm where this one is on. Uh, F15, come over here, old beta flight configurator, uh, connect 4.1.1. So that's what I'm going to put the new one on. I'm going to go dump and highlight all. All right, so 4.1.1, seal racing F7. 411 seal racing F7. And new one. 411 seal racing F7. 411 seal racing F7. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, look at that. 4.1.1. No way. Wow, that's pretty cool. And dump it up. I saw one red. I saw another red. I saw a bunch of reds. Let's go hunt those reds down. Make sure they're nothing bad. Ooh, it's it's tripping a bunch. Oh man, lots of reds. What's happening? Why is this dump so long? Jesus. It doesn't usually take that long. My god. Alright, let's see. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh motor reassignment, fine. Unknown command, try help. What was that? Resource freed. It should be okay there in theory. Uh, GPS RX, that's fine. RX lost, fine. Parse error for tear. I guess I'll just check that out. Parse error for color. Unknown command for something range related. Oh, there's the VTX tables going to hell. Okay, so let's do that real quick here. Ah, fuck me, I forgot to save it. Come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, I probably could have done that. All right, while this is dumping, let me uh, put clothes on. Be right back. I've got no pants on. I've got no pants on. Now I do have pants on. Ah! All right, all right, all right, all right. Save this time. Okay. Now I'm going to have to go through the tabs because there was a lot of red there, and I don't feel like reading through. It'll probably be faster for me to go through the tabs than to read through the uh, the the CLI to catch all that red shit. Okay, and back down to my chair. Okay. Pants are on. Let's make sure that the gyro is correct. Left, right, right, left. There we go. Perfect. Uh, ports. You are two. Is that what they want? You are two. Yeah. Plug it in a second. See if it comes in. Uh, ESC telemetry disabled. 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 Why is everything disabled? What the fuck? Um. All right. Let's see. You are two. I feel like it should be on three. Uh, let's throw a battery on it. See if it catches on fire. Uh, uh, props are off. Hey, look at that. Look at me. Transmitter is on. Oh, I gotta grab a diamond antenna. Make sure this shit doesn't blow up. Oh. Man, my bag is a fucking mess, too. Oof. This is... This is a nightmare. I hate having to rush like this. Glide crossfire. Okay, here we go. So that's on. Uh, pray for. Uh, I will use a smoke stopper. I'm not gonna be that much of an idiot. Impatient jag off. Okay, good to go. No fire. Let's try full beams. Hey, we're good. Wow. That quick uh okay so let's see what we got is there a connection there is not okay so ports uh what do we put it on it's on uh six tx6 so let's go down here to six we'll kick that on kick this one off save and reboot and we'll see if we've got a connection come on reboot Nope. 
Got to go over to Tear. Oh, man. Come on. Uh, let's try three. Because I did put them on TX3. I wonder why it said you are... Oh, that was weird. Strange. Hey, there we go. Bottom left, low, bottom high. Okay, good. 1,000, T-A-E-R. Uh, RSSI. Where's RSSI? I guess, it, I guess RSSI will just magically work. Oh, no, it's on uh, AUX4. So we'll go to AUX4 for RSSI. Let's check our switches. One, two, and three. Awesome. Uh, save. And come up here to ports. Uh, where was... So telemetry, in theory, should just work. And then it's on RX1 for tramp. Uh, so that's UART1. IRC tramp, save and reboot. Come on, come on, come on. Port configuration. We've got, oh, look at that. Didn't pick up on that. So bidirectional, 6%, that's fine. Eight and eight. Uh, no magnetometer. Wow, it didn't get a lot of this stuff. That's odd. Uh, crossfire, telemetry, OSD, any gravity, beep tone two, that's fine. Whoa, that was interesting. That hasn't happened in a long time. Yikes. Uh, let's see if the motors are going to spin when I want them to this time. Nope. I think that maybe I didn't flash this goddamn ESC. Farts. Let's see. Uh, connect, read setup. Oh, come on, you jerk. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There's a resource problem, I think. No. What the hell? All right, well, not flying this today. I tried. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, I was supposed to be there a minute ago. Uh, shit, I thought that I had, uh, flashed that ESC. That's annoying. All right, guys, thanks for hanging. Uh, that was a good attempt, but, uh, I'll be coming home and fixing this before I go back out and fly. So, I will catch up with you guys. Maybe I'll do a, uh, a review tonight, uh, a review stream tonight. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Be good, or I'll attack you physically. Later!